Hey there guys, today we're going to be taking a look at my favorite ROM for the Nexus 5, the Pure Speed X ROM. The main goal of this ROM is to provide you with great performance, stability, and a lightweight ROM with a bunch of valuable features. Guys, let's take a look at the PSX ROM. So of course, this ROM is running Android 4.4 KitKat, the latest version of Android. And as I said, this is by far one of my favorite ROMs out right now. And the main reason why I like it so much is because how simple it is. It gives you much faster performance and also better battery life and stability, while also giving you some of those really useful features that should come on stock already. They don't try to cram your phone with a bunch of features that you're never going to be using and just slow down your phone. Speaking about features, let's get right into it. So if we go into settings, we get a small extra settings section which we could look through. It starts off with the bar section. We have status bar and navigation bar. Here in status bar we could do different things like go into clock and date and customize how we want the clock to be. We can do different things like move it in the center. We could also go and add AM, PM and date parts to the camera, or sorry, to the clock, which give you a much more detailed experience when you're looking up at the status bar. Also, another one of my favorites with this ROM is the option to customize the battery. We can go here and choose different options for the battery, and they give you a bunch. And the main reason I like this is because you can get the percentage up there which should have been included with in stock as I said before but it's good that you get the option there next we as I said we do get the navigation bar section here we can go and choose between the different DPI's for the navigation bar so you can make it really small I prefer 40 as it makes it a little bit smaller and it's kind of the perfect amount I think for the buttons so if we go back and back into buttons, we also do get some more options here. We can go into power menu and here we could add a bunch of these different options that give you some quick access tools like torch, airplane mode. Another cool feature is skipping songs with the volume rocker. Getting into some of our last options, we can enter lock screen and here we just get a couple of quick settings like one of my favorites also is quick unlock. So once you lock the phone and let's say you have a pin number, you could type in the pin and then it'll automatically unlock your phone instead of you having to click OK, which was a huge annoyance, especially for a lot of people. Next we do get interface and here we could go in to charging and enable some different stuff when you plug in your phone also we can customize the CRT animation when you turn off your phone it's kinda of this little TV lock which looks pretty cool and has been on Android for a while also we could customize the notification light at the bottom to choose what we want the light to be when we get a notification and we also get some keyboard options so guys that's pretty much it for the settings and as you can see all the features that I listed are actually pretty useful I know that when you flash some other ROMs like AOKP, you get a bunch of features that you're not going to be using. So I have to give real props to the developer of this ROM for making this such a fast, stable, and valuable feature ROM. Definitely something that I would prefer. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe down below. Also, do give this video a thumbs up. And yeah, thanks for watching.